When he handed over the keys of his 2015 Hyundai Santa Fe to his dealership service department, he didn't think much of it. It was a new car, um, 6,000 kilometers in it, so I took it in for its first oil change at the dealer. There were also some problems with the upholstery that he asked them to fix. What he didn't know was the dealership sent the car to another shop to get the work done. He was just about to head back here to pick up his car when he was called with some unbelievable news. His car was involved in an accident. Hyundai contracted out the work on the car to another garage. The contractor's son crashed the car. It's a write-off. It smashed into another car driven by a 69-year-old man who was taken to hospital. The 22-year-old behind the wheel of Figueroa's Santa Fe faces charges of careless driving. Figueroa had to file an accident claim through his insurance, even though he wasn't even there when it happened. Now he's worried about legal implications somewhere down the road. Am I liable for any future damages? The dealership says he has nothing to worry about because all garages in the province must have special insurance coverage. Sometimes we would have to take it out on the road for a road test. And if one of our employees were driving that vehicle during that road test, it wouldn't affect your insurance at all. It'll be our policy. While garage automobile policies cover most situations that arise, this lawyer says it's not so cut and dried. When you give your car to a third party, like you know, a neighbor or a garage, then you are still responsible for actions of that car. If the car is in a vehicle in an accident, then as the owner, you could be vicariously liable for damages. He says it's a good idea to check if the mechanic you deal with has garage insurance. In this case, Aaron Mills Hyundai says either the dealership's or the contractor's insurance will make good on his claim. Philip Shannock, CBC News, Mississauga.